With the introduction of the new Burnish Shield backpack armor, we wanted to get these lightweight inserts out to the range to demonstrate the level of ballistic protection that they provide. Today, we will be inserting the level 3A shield into a standard size backpack and then shooting it with an array of different handgun calibers. The first round that we're gonna to use today is the nine millimeter. The nine millimeter handgun is the most commonly used handgun in active shooter events across the nation. So as we come down here after we fired our nine mil round, we look here in the backpack and we can see our very small entry hole right here into the panel but on the back we can see no penetration and very little back force deformation as well. Definitely what we would expect you know, from that nine millimeter performance, but performed great so far, so let's keep going. So the next round we will be using will be the 45 caliber. So let's take a look at this 45 round. As we pull it out of the bag, we can see the 45 entry right here under our nine millimeter entry. And uh, we got a much bigger entry hole as we would expect. But once again, on the back, we have no penetration. We do have a, a bit more back force deformation caused by the energy of that 45, but it definitely did its job. Caught the round inside the vest here. All right, let's keep going. The last round we'll be using today will be the 44 Magnum considered one of the most powerful production caliber handguns in existence. So after picking the target back up, we can actually get in and take a look uh, at how this round performed. So we definitely have uh, the entry hole here, uh, right in uh, the bottom of the logo. We flip it over and we do have some tearing uh, of the fabric, but that is due to the, as you can see, the back force deformation. What you don't see right in here, if we kind of get a little closer, is there is no actual penetration through the fabric of the actual vest itself, just some tearing of this liner. The round is actually still stuck down here into the shield itself. So as we open up this panel and actually get into the liner itself, on that last 44 mag round, we can see as I separate the actual ballistic panels themselves, we can see that our 44 Magnum round is sitting right here in the middle of the vest itself and actually only penetrated through not even a third of the actual panels themselves. So we didn't even make it through half of the vest before it completely stopped one of the most powerful uh, production rounds available out there. As we can see back here into our backpack and into our target, we have no, we, not only do we not have any penetration or holes, but no actual trauma, no cracking, nothing in this uh, plastic target that would indicate uh, you know, that a round actually made it through. All of the Burnish Shield backpack armor panels carry an NIJ compliant 3A rating and are expected to stop all of the rounds we use today and more. But this demonstration is here to prove that when you or your kid's life is on the line, Burna has your back. 